so I took a little walk and uh, I'm currently at the coast side of the island and uh, it's not often I get the chance to remove my jacket because of the cold but today is such a day so I set up the camera here and I'm shooting in horizontal mode for, for a change seems like I'm always shooting vertical these days and I'm using the super stopper but I wish that I had this, the little stopper or something because 15 stop it's quite a long time even though it's uh, in broad daylight I really wanted a long exposure of the coastline looking inwards because the sky is quite dramatic today and the waves are just the right size I'm shooting at f2.8 because I want the highest amount of shutter speed available so when I use the super stopper filter it doesn't take four minutes to take the image so now I'm at f2.8 one thousand of a second and with the super stopper that equals 40 seconds approximately so I really wish I could go down maybe four seconds maybe 2.5 seconds or something like that I think that would be much much better but it is what it is and the results I'm getting are really really ghosty and I enjoy that at least so I'm quite happy with the location it's, this is uh, definitely a good spot I'm getting the entire coastline in the picture and I put my focus on that rock there I'm quite happy with the composition I'm quite happy with the with the clouds and I'm quite happy with the waves so this is pretty pretty good and here we go that's a good one that's a good one I think it's time I'm gonna get moving off the words now there we go I like this I'm gonna pack now because the waves are coming higher and higher and yeah I'm gonna pack up I cut myself <laughs> So, the ocean is slowly rising, so I think it's time for me to head back and have some dinner. And I'm definitely heading back here during a sunset, I think. Because the sun is kind of at the right position, it's gonna set approximately here. So, it's all good, it's all, it's looking good, to put it like that. Because if you can picture this scene exactly as it was, with a gorgeous drop red backdrop in the background, that would be it fantastic I think so in the last video or the last time I was here I stated that my last image could be so much better if there were more color in the sky and thusly I drove out yet again and you might be asking why did I choose this day it's pretty gray and to be fair it is a good question and I'm not sure myself. I just have this gut feeling that this is going to be one of those all or nothing days. Like either it's gonna be a spectacular sunset or it's just gonna be nothing at all. And either way it's a win-win because I have a plan B because if the light doesn't arrive and I increase the F stop up to 11 or 13, I think it's gonna be dark enough that I can do a long exposure image without the use of my 15 stop filter. So I'm thinking maybe one or two second long exposure from the same spot and I think that will make a huge difference and it will not be the same image that I did the last time. So that's my plan B. Plan C is to weep silently in the car <laughs> while I question my choices because quite frankly I'm horrible predicting things. I can't even predict my next meal. sugarcoat it this looks to be a nothing day but you never know it's still half an hour till sunset so we might still get lucky we might get lucky now one other reason why I chose this day is because there is quite a bit of wind and a bit of a wind makes for nice waves so that will also help to set the mood of the image and who knows maybe this image doesn't need a gorgeous backdrop maybe all it's need is a faster shutter and some waves so what i do when it's windy and i'm on an edge like this i usually try to find little creeks not 
<laughs> not creaks, cracks. I, I see if I can find some cracks to put my tripod in because then it's steady as a rock. This one is steady as a rock. Right now I'm waiting for the light and as you can see something is happening. And hang on, here comes a big wave. I'm gonna take this. I almost got it. I almost got it. Uh, because I have a two second shutter delay on, so the timing was a bit off. Okay, so right now I'm staying at F9 and 13 of a second. And I'm just waiting for the light. And I need to time this. And there we go. Not bad, it had the right angle. Quite frankly, I don't exactly know what I was thinking. I have a perfectly fine shutter release cable in my backpack and here I am timing my shot with a two second shutter delay. I'm an idiot. For those of you who had their doubts, we have some color in the sky. Only problem or challenge is that the colors are happening a bit high up, but I still get it in my frame because I really want that rock in my image. On that rock, most of the action with the waves are going on. So I really need that rock in my image. I'm gonna have a think on how I can solve this challenge. I have a perfectly fine wide angle lens in my backpack, the Olympus lens, and this way I can get the color happening in the sky, the little color happening in the sky, there's a little bit of color happening, but I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. And it still gives me the whole view, a much better composition, much more included. I'm all set now, so I'm gonna take a few more pictures with my new lens. This is it, I think. This is it. So I'm sad to say that the little light we had in the sky has disappeared because the sunset is over. It's a bit cold now. Been here for over an hour now photographing waves and, and I'm gonna call it quits. It's been a good, good evening and I loved every second of it. And just when I packed down the equipment, <laughs> although the sunset was a bit of a letdown, it didn't necessarily do anything because I think in the end I walked away with an interesting picture. Believe it or not, when I drove out here today, there actually was so much sun that I worried that the sunset would be too clean. But as I got closer and moved down to the location, there came clouds from every possible angle and now the bank is pretty thick. But I still see some light in the horizon, so I'm still a bit optimistic but I'm less optimistic than I was when I drove out. But we got approximately 25 minutes till sunset and I'm all ready and all we have to do is wait. So, yeah, fingers crossed, I guess.
last night there was an enormous amount of rain and there was a lot of wind and as you saw when I walked to the location there was a whole lot of kelp that has been washed out from the sea and that just shows how different locations like this can be each day so it's always something new I'm starting to get optimistic again because yes the weather took a turn for the worse but that only means that it could take a turn for the better because I see blue skies all around me and it's clearing up right there with the dark clouds it's clearing up so I'm still very optimistic and I'm really really hoping now that we get some light. One of these days I'm going to do exactly what I'm doing now, except you're going to be looking at a gorgeous sunset. But this is not today. So that brings me to my conclusion and my conclusion is the secret behind some of my best photographs are perseverance, patience, passion and stubbornness. And I am nothing if not stubborn, just ask my wife. So. I'll be back tomorrow, I suppose, because the forecast looks very promising for tomorrow, but it also looked promising for this day, and you see what happened now. So I'm just going to pack up and I'll be back tomorrow. So one thing's for certain, this evening we are going to get some sun at least. And hopefully with that sun there will be some colors as well. I think we deserve it. So this day could be really, really, really good. There are some clouds at the bottom of the horizon and that's good because if it didn't it would be too clean of a sunset. Hopefully these clouds will break some of the light and create some beautiful colors for us. Either way, it's bound to be different than the last times I've been here. I have been talking about light now for a couple of days and that was the whole idea behind this movie. I was gonna shoot the same picture on various different days. And what I find now standing here while the sun is closing in on setting and the colors are starting to form is that every time I've been here every time it's been different and every time I've walked away with some good photographs it just depends on your preferences I guess some people might enjoy this image I'm getting now the best but some of you might enjoy the first image I got and some of you may not enjoy any of them but for me I think in the end the journey was more worth it than the image getting here every, every night, searching for the perfect conditions. That's what's fun, that's what's fun to me. There are definitely more colors now than it was when the sun set, so this is somewhat of a late bloomer. So I'm really pleased that I chose to wait another 15 minutes. Either way, I'm very satisfied with the outcome and I'm very satisfied with the golden line across the horizon for this image. Thankfully there were some clouds today, otherwise this would be just too clean. But with the, with the clouds at the end of the horizon it catches on fire and it helps to break it up. I wish there were more clouds. But I shan't complain because these last couple of days there's been too much clouds and now it's been too little so I need to find something in between but this is definitely a different image than it was the last times I was here and that's the whole point of this little exercise.
I don't know. Maybe this has turned into some kind of obsession. So after my last trip out here, I swore to myself when I was driving back in my car that I wouldn't go out one more time for this film. But when I looked out the window at approximately four o'clock today, I realized that these conditions are quite rare. Although there is absolutely no wind, there are still pretty decent waves. Also, there's a thin layer of fog in the horizon which kind of um, it breaks the light in a very neat way so it kind of almost like uh, you know the sunsets you see in uh, warmer countries those conditions on this island in the west of Norway is quite rare the sun sets in a few minutes and until the, until the sun sets I'm gonna do these really fast exposures to freeze the action because all my previous shots have kind of been mellowed and I really want one where it's just poof, freeze of the moment. So that's what I'm doing. I think now, yes, now, there's a big wave coming there. I'm gonna try and freeze it. All right, there we go. So I know I have at least one good freeze the action image so i've decided to try something else i put on another glass another nd filter which is uh, nd2 i think so by adding that filter and increasing the f-stop to f11 it gives me a shutter speed of one of a tenth second and that also gives that beautiful kind of mellow water effect i'm shooting the same composition as i've done the other times of course and i'm really loving this sun it's it's this is beautiful. How do I wrap this up? How do I wrap this one up? So I know I said this before, but I'll say it again. This time, it's my last time down here. Uh, I need to stop. I need to stop. This can't go on. I've, I've been here now six days in a row and sooner or later it has to stop. I, I have to say that I'm satisfied with the image and I am. I'm satisfied with the image. That's. That's done. That's the image done. Anywho, if you like this film, please leave uh, a thumbs. So cold, I can't even speak properly. <laughs> Thank you for watching and like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I really appreciate it. And uh, leave a comment on which picture you prefer. Uh, I'll number them so you can write one one to seven or one to eight i'm not sure yet how many images it's gonna be i'm gonna call it here i'm gonna call it here all right see you in about a week